Hello and a very warm welcome to the first of a series of interviews that we're going to do with some of the stars of the Mini Challenge E series. And a great pleasure to welcome Ryan Elliott into the studio today, the virtual studio that is. Everything's virtual, isn't it, about this race series, the studio, the commentary, the racing, the whole, the whole thing. Ryan, really good to see you and thanks for joining us this morning on this. Um, and what a fantastic start you've made. We've had two events so far. And you've had two podia, and I think the last event at Brands Hatch really showed consistency because you were hardly out of the top 10. What does it feel like to do that? And are you happy with the progress you're making so far? Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, obviously, opportunities like this don't come very often for people like me, so it's, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, so, so far, we've had a, a bit of a rough start to, to the season. I was expecting a lot more. Maybe considering some of my past results, especially in sim stuff, some of the people who I'm even racing against in this series who I've I've beat in the past. But like I said, at this point, I'm just trying to keep the consistency up because obviously there's four, four races each meeting. It's a, it's a really, really long season. And half of the series is that top 10 reverse grid. So my aim sort of being to have race one between positions seven and 10 so I can get a good reverse grid draw which in two instances worked out well for me, having podiums, being able to get to that top end of the grid just through the reverse grid. But like I said, that's half the season. So it might mean that the people who finish high in race one, like for instance, Dave Marshall, who seems to be doing an amazing job so far, he hasn't been able to maybe have some of the results in the second race, which is where I'm trying to capitalise. I'm sort of doing the opposite of everyone else. Certainly, your 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 pace has been there, and, and as I say, you know, at some point over the season, you know, even Dave Marshall is going to have a, a, a bad meeting. But Brands Hatch, you were re really very very consistent indeed. In terms of the overall championship, eighth position I think at the moment, but fifth on the sim races. And it looks to me, if we were plotting a graph of your results, you're going to go higher up. I don't want to put pressure on you for the remaining races, but it, it kind of looks that way. Um, I I imagine this is. Uh, a prelude to other things that you want to do. A lot of racers that do sim racing are quite happy with that. But you have ambitions to, to get out on circuit, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So, I mean, I've been karting for probably seven years this year. So I've started to take a bit of a step away from it when it came to my study in GCSEs. And now I've gone on to get a, an actual job. So it's all sort of had to slow down a little bit. But the, the plan was to be back racing in, but this time make the step into cars I've sort of missed all the junior categories but then I've, I've come into this mini package doing this e-series I've been able to meet new people like obviously series director Anthony Williams and some of the drivers like Max Coase, Ethan Hamilton etc and it's just a really good place for me to prove myself against some of these people that I'd want to be racing in. So the plan would be to race Cooper Pro, I'm, I'm looking at buying a car possibly maybe making that step up next year but obviously the pandemic's not helping very much i mean it's it's really unfortunate the situation we're in at the minute but we just got to push through it we'll be back racing soon everything certainly is changing the economy sport the whole world politics everything changing with pandemic as you rightly say one of the things that i don't think will change is is the appeal of the mini championship because you've got you know what anthony has has put together it's a ladder isn't it i mean i was fortunate enough to work on mini festival last year and get to see all of the mini paddock whether it's uh, Cooper Am, Cooper Pro, JCWs and the other classes that they nurture and run superbly. So you can you can start off anywhere on that ladder, can't you? And I think next year, if, if next year's calendar is similar to this year's, if you do make it into Cooper Pro, fingers crossed for you. And, you know, if there are sponsors out there having a look, they'd be very silly to pass up an opportunity to work with you, not just as sponsors, but as marketing as well, because you'll give them a great day out at the racetrack and a great experience. Um but uh, Cooper Pro, you know, it's going to be, I think, part of the touring car package again next year. Certainly, it was what's planned this year. So, terrific value for them if they get involved. Yeah, that, that was one of the major selling points, I think, when we were looking towards this year. But, obviously, my studying took over again. But it was that idea where they had two meetings on the touring car package. Obviously, you get TV exposure. The, the hospitality opportunities are incredible at touring car meetings. And, like you say, the mini family is just incredible. It provides a, a real ladder, like you were saying. It's unlike when I was maybe looking at Clio's before you sort of have to just jump straight into the Clio Cup it was quite a big step for someone like myself but with this it's sort of like a ladder where I can start maybe in Cooper Am or Cooper Pro and then work myself up prove myself into maybe stepping into JCW which obviously now is the primary feed of the touring cars which like most races is my absolute dream 
That would be absolutely mega to see you there. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the token package. I hope you can sort it out. So backpedaling a little bit, maybe background. How old are you at the moment? 18, 18 years old. So you're driving on the road. Have you actually had a go in a, in a race car at all? Yeah, I've been very fortunate to have a couple of testing opportunities. So I've tested in, initially we did, did some Saxo testing, did the scholarship there and did quite well. Then I got a taster in a Fiesta Junior around Donington. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. And then towards just before pandemic hit, the beginning of March, I was testing Junetta GT5 around Donington, which was a, a mega experience. But I feel like I, I enjoy front wheel drive cars. I want to be more towards touring cars than a GT sort of career. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to hopefully when, when we get back race and maybe getting some testing in, in a Cooper before maybe we go out and commit to a season. Well, thanks very much for that. And, and just to sum up, give us give us your thoughts on the on the mini challenge e series before we say cheerio. It's absolutely mega. I mean, having people like yourself on board to do the commentary is something really uncommon in the sim racing world. The the quality of the series, like even when you look at the stewarding, the quality of the streams is just incredible. It's it's really bringing people like me who maybe are more now sim racers and real racers we're bringing us back into the limelight a little bit, which is really nice. We're getting some really good attention at the minute. That's really nice of you to say. And I've got to say, I'm mightily impressed with the, the calibre of, of drivers we've got, you know, the real races and the sim races, absolutely incredible. And my one regret at the moment is that we can't all go in the bar at the end of a meeting. It's, um, <laughs> it's a real pain in the neck, but uh, hopefully we'll have a, a get together. I'm sure Max and Anthony and, and Rich and the team uh, will we'll try and sort something like that out when, when we, uh, when, when we get back to some sort of normality. Uh, Ryan, I was asked to just do a quick chat with you. Thanks very much for, for answering my questions and coming online this morning. Good luck for the rest of the series. We look forward to chatting to you on the podium, I'm sure, at many of the upcoming rounds. Thank you very much for having me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the racing, guys. Thanks, Ryan.